way, which one did you guys find your partner was able to do the most? Regarding, right? Yeah. That's almost everybody, right? Regarding was the toughest one to deal with? Yes. Okay. Uh, may I borrow you for a second? All right. One thing you may also notice when we do this exercise is for the person on bottom, you'll tend to notice that as soon as somebody figures out one way of holding you, the other two ways become super available. Did you guys notice that too? It's like if you just tried really hard to regard and nothing else, they would eventually figure out that knee ride was a really good solution. And then as soon as you started turning in or turning away, all oh, that didn't work so well. So it kind of, it's like a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing where if you just stop resisting the one thing they're doing and do something else, you tend to escape a lot easier, which also just teaches you how to escape better because doing one escape shouldn't work. <laughs> yes, sir. Were we allowed to pin their legs and hold them? Uh, not with your chest. Okay. So you can, like, if you did, like, a, like a leg wrap, like Khabib style, do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? Yeah, like yeah. if you were to do that, that would be totally fine. And that's one of the things that I'm going to show. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like, are you guys at least on board with this as like a, a <coughs> exercise that changes how you look at top control and escapes? Okay, if you appreciate it, then we can work for, with that. All right, so I'll get you on your back here. So the first thing we're going to introduce is just the idea that, again, because we're not allowed to do this, how we figure out where control comes from has to change. So the first thing I want to identify is obviously what's the easiest one? It was the regard. So the easiest solution for the regard is just to put my knee in the way, right? But because we're not using the gi today and we can't do this stuff, it gets a lot harder to just control knee ride, especially if your partner's a little bit bigger than you or a little bit taller, then they can generate a little bit more force. So what I'm going to introduce is the idea of diagonal or opposite corner control. Uh, and like, usually, let's say when we pass to our uh, left, our partner's, our, our, yeah, our partner's right side, we'll be putting knee ride on their like right hip across to their left hip. So we basically control the bottom right corner. We want to control the top left corner. That's true of passing. It's true of like back takes. Anything if we control the diagonal line, that's going to be super helpful. So rather than holding like this and trying to do this kind of stuff, I'm going to suggest that you try to control this shoulder in one way or another. And control can mean, like literally just put your hand on it. It can mean control the wrist and do this. Now if I do this, and then you just start moving around, try to escape. You notice things get a lot more difficult, right? But diagonal control doesn't have to mean that I actually physically touch this. I can control this shoulder by controlling this shoulder. Because when we say control, all we mean is like, I don't want him to be able to turn in, and I don't want him to be able to turn away. If he can get onto that shoulder, he can turn away. If he can lift this shoulder, he can turn in. If I control this shoulder, try to do the same things, it's the same basic idea. I'm controlling that shoulder by controlling this shoulder. So yes, we want to control the diagonal line, but I can control it indirectly. Does that kind of make sense? So what I want you guys to do whenever you're ready is another round of this. And I want you to focus a little more on that knee across the belly position. One detail I'll add is that when we're using knee on belly or knee ride, if my foot is touching the floor, most of my weight is being borne by that post. And so the amount of weight that I can transmit into my partner is reduced, and he can use that to kind of move me around. If I keep that foot off the mat and I keep it anchored, like basically shoelaces against his thigh, and I try to drive it down his leg, I'm going to create a lot more of a lever effect. I'm going to twist him up. And so now I'm starting to control that bottom corner. If I can control this corner, my life's going to get an awful lot easier. Um, does that make sense? So you don't have to use knee ride, but since we identified that the main problem is regarding, Let's try to fix that problem, see if knee ride takes care of most of it for you, and just focus on controlling those shoulders. So again, how you do it, up to you. I'll add details as we go. Are there any questions on that? Still no chest to chest. Still no chest to chest. I am sorry, man. That's not going to change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Whenever you're ready, 